Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for your rod and your staff. They comfort me. You anoint my head with oil. If we look at this psalm, which obviously speaks to God, the Lord Jesus Christ, as our shepherd, we the sheep, and his wonderful care for us, we see that this is really taking us through a year in the life of the sheep. We see the, the shepherd providing. We see the shepherd protecting from dangers. We see the shepherd guiding the sheep to where they need to be. We see him leading them to the high table land where the good grasses are in the summer. And then the psalmist goes on to say, you anoint my head with oil. One of the things that we learn if we, if we look at sheep herding and, and listen to shepherds is that sheep are at great risk for all kinds of insects and parasites. There is one, as, as terrible as this sounds, there is, there is one particular parasite that annoys sheep that burrows up into their noses and lays its eggs and becomes an intense irritant to the sheep, especially in the summer heat. I'm told that the sheep will be so bothered by this that they will almost, in a frenzy, uh, beat their heads against trees or rocks trying to get at the irritant. A good shepherd has some kind of ointment available at all times to put on the head and noses of his sheep to protect them against these irritants and to keep them from hurting themselves. Of course, when we think about the balm that the Lord Jesus Christ applies to us every day, we think immediately of the Holy Spirit, his wonderful protection, his guidance, his wisdom, his rebuke and challenge when we go astray. Wonderfully, God blesses us with the Holy Spirit's indwelling at the moment of our salvation. But is it not every single day that we need a fresh application of the Holy Spirit's strength and wisdom and love to our hearts? Daily, we should be asking the Lord to allow the Holy Spirit to, to change us, to shape us, to protect us against all of those things that will cause us to harm ourselves. We are so blessed to have the Holy Spirit in our hearts. Let's take care to make sure that we are living in the power of the Holy Spirit and allowing him to fill and control us each day as we walk this life together.